welcome back. So we're gonna do a quick test here because this is the most frustrating thing, right? So when Bonk was having all its hype, I was like, okay, I want this in a, in a Solana wallet. I want all my Bonk in a Solana wallet. And I obviously have Trust Wallet, which I use. I'm, I'm use I've been using Trust Wallet since I've had Bonk, but I've been led to believe that Phantom Wallet is the best wallet on Solana, which it may be. And I was like, and then I see all these updates about how, you know, BTC is coming to Phantom Wallet, but I can't add tokens to the Phantom Wallet. I'll give you an example now. So if I want to add tokens, so I'll go back to it. So these are what you have when you open your Solana, your Phantom Wallet for the first time. This is a brand new wallet, right? And then I've been guided by these videos here, which are, you could say outdated now, because when you go to what they, they tell you to go to manage, manage token list, which is usual for any wallet. And then you just search, or there should be a plus sign here where you can add the tokens. But even if I search, let's just say USDT, nothing is there, right? So what is the solution? I was like scratching my head like, why is everyone praising this wallet to high heaven when it's absolutely dog doo doo? And I was thinking, this is being praised so much as the best wallet, why? I can't even do anything on it. So then I was like, I'll give up on that and I'll just go back to Trust Wallet. And then I, was, and then I thought to myself, um, then I saw the video about BTC coming to Phantom. And then I was like, how can people just be so hyped about this wallet? You can't even do anything on it. This is a mini rant slash tutorial, I apologize. So what I did, I did a bit more research because I, want, I wanted my, I, I, was, I was not accepting how terrible this was. This, is, this, this can't be terrible. It can't be. So I did a bit of research, right? And apparently, if you want to add your tokens, say for example, Bonk or USDT or anything, the only way it, to add it is to send it to that wallet and it will appear. So we are gonna test this now. We're gonna send some bonk, which I have in my trust wallet. So we are gonna send some bonk to this phantom wallet. And the test is if it just appears, if it just shows up, that's the, res that's the test. Because these tutorials are now garbage, they're all useless. So we're gonna just test this out now. We are gonna, it will be Solana wallet, wouldn't it? So, so we are gonna test this, we are gonna deposit and we're gonna copy. I'm just gonna send, you know, nothing major, but let's just see if this works. So I'm gonna send bonk, send. Address was that, no memo, amount. We're gonna send, I don't know what, how, how much I send. I'll, I'll send, I'll give myself 10, 10 bonk. Um, this is a test. This is like, on, <laughs> this is just, this is just to see if this works. And if it does work, I'll take it a bit more seriously. All right, confirm. I'm sending 10 bonk. Now, let's see if it pops up. We're gonna just wait. We're gonna wait here until it actually pops up. If it does at all. If it doesn't, then <laughs> this video is a waste of time. Oh, there it is. There it is. There's my 10 bonk. So that's how you do it. And you know, it took me some research on Google to find this because they updated this and they they wanted to tell no one. Phantom, you terrible, you terrible wallet people. I don't know how this was not addressed or announced <clears throat> because I've not seen an announcement for it unless I've completely missed it, but I was not aware of this. So now, you know, you get you get more thumbs up. You get five thumbs up out of seven now, rather than a negative one. So bravo, it works. So all you do to conclude is you send whatever token it is to the wallet address, and that's it. Problem solved. The tokens will appear. That is how you add tokens to the address. You have to manually send money to it. So that's that. That's the only way to do it. All right. Hope that helps. Goodbye.